Fox News' Brett Hume says urinating on Taliban is not despicable. What? Would this turd feel the same way if it was the Taliban peeing on the bodies of NATO troops? No. Uh -uh. No way. And we wonder why the world is ticked off at us like they are. For instance, a military that we oppose kills, tortures, and detains its citizens. It is blamed on the country's leader. And we want to hang them high. But when the good guys do it, it's an isolated incident. Rogue elements. Extraordinary techniques. Yada yada. No way is it connected to our leader. This is hypocrisy at its finest. And we wonder why. Judge rejects GOP candidate's request to be added to the Virginia ballot. And who are these turds? Perry. Santorum. Huntsman. And old Newt Gingrich. What? And these turds want to be our president? Really? They knew months ago about the rules and now they want the rules bent for them. Uh-uh. No. Man, it ain't gonna happen. Do the rules get bent for us? Uh-uh. No. Man, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> this is hypocrisy at its finest. And they claim to be able to take care of our country's problems. Bye-bye. <laughs> And Mitt the flip flop Romney, please. Is the answer to our problems? Please. He's the answer for the rich who already have more than they would ever need in their entire lifetime. He's anti. He's pro. He's on the fence. Remind you anyone? Who will get another four years against this turd? The only candidate who is stuck to his guns all these years is the unmentionable Ron Paul. It's just a fact, like it or not. And and speaking of Ron Paul, some of the people from South Carolina thought it would be fun to dress up like KKK members and attend a Ron Paul rally. Please hang up and try again. Really? This is all they got. Instead of pushing for that candidate and the issues, this is what these turds come up with. And what in the world is up with the whole Paul bot thing? Couldn't come up with something original, could you? Obama bots has already been used years ago. You dingus. Speaking of Obama, Obama seeks authority to merge agencies. What? All this turd needs is some more power. Year after year after year, the presidential turd gets more and more power. It's borderline dictatorship as it is, but with a twist. You can vote for your dictator. <laughs> Black box vote, no ballots, no physical evidence, no way to authenticate who voted for who. Convicted felons who aren't even felons. People vote who didn't even get out to bed that day. And my favorite, dead people voting from beyond the grave. You see what I'm saying? What is up with Sopa Stop Online Piracy Act? They're trying to get past. And get out of my face. <laughs> if I buy your stupid crap, I will share it with whom I want. And if someone wants to share it with me, I'm not gonna waterboard them to find out where they got it or where it came from before that. You got to be a greedy pile of Dunlop to complain about people sharing your work to start with. And these turds already make more money than ever in the history of time on the crap and they're complaining. What I want to know is how much of our money is it costing us for them to sit around on the lazy good for nothing backsides even deliberating about this rubbish to start with. Want to cut spending? I got a solution. Also on the slab for Congress is H.R. 3166 and S. 1698, an act that will allow the U.S. government to take away citizenship of anybody that is considered a hostile enemy or supporting hostility towards the U.S. government. What? Hostility, hostile behavior, unfriendliness, or opposition, which means speak out, protest, or disagree in any form with these turds running the show, and you're no longer welcome in their country. Guess this would legalize that head in the sand sand. If you don't like it, you can get Get out of our country. Which is basically telling you to shut your mouth and let the corporate turds do what they want. Ignore the constitutional right to free speech. It doesn't even count unless you agree with them. And with all of their new toys, they can also indefinitely detain you for such things. These wanks are working overtime to take our rights away, but as long as we can watch American Isle in peace, we don't care. Rand says the CIA is behind nuclear scientists' murder and that they have proof. How absurd. Our CIA would never, ever do such a thing. And we have...
after year, year after year after year after year that Iran has nukes. Iran will have nukes in three years. Iran will have nukes in one year. Of course, that was 10 years ago. Iran doesn't have nukes. They're working on them. They're not working on them. Blah, 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 blah. Which one is it? Come on, man. Let's be real. There's only one main reason that they want to attack Iran. It's the same reason that it has always been. All right, people, now say it with me. Oh, that's right. And speaking of oil, starting February 1st, drilling operations in Texas will have to report many of the chemicals used in the process known as hydraulic fracturing. What? They've been doing this since 1947. It's 2012. And they're yet to tell us what kind of crap they're injecting into the planet. What? These turds inject highly pressurized fracking fluid, which we still don't even know what that is to this day, in the ground to increase extraction rates of fossil fuels. Seismologists from Columbia University says that several earthquakes, earthquakes, that happened throughout 2011 are linked to fracking. And we don't care. Drill, baby, drill. Frack, baby, frack. <laughs> baby, we humans can't stand not to be messing with something. Always, 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 always messing with something that we have no business messing with in the first place. But now, what do we do? Let's mess with we love to ram it, push it, shove it, poke it, dab it, shoot it, explode it, frack it, zap it, and slap it every which way but loose. Just to see what happens, and if we find something in the process, we'll hoard it as if it was our very own. Ain't no sharing here. It's mine. And sell it for a price, and if people don't have the money for it, too bad. Life isn't fair. And the whole life isn't fair groupies kill me the most most rationalizing by using this crusty catchphrase created by the very people who make life not fair. This is the world we live in. Something to think about. I've changed the channel. And I'm out. What? Really? Please.